on the theme of growing apart or like when two people you're in a relationship and it seems relevant to move on yes that has seemed like a fine line in my world because it's like it gets rough easy to project well they're just not developed enough so i better just move on and then it happens again and then i better just move on and it happens again and it gets rocky in other words some of my core fears could get triggered and i move on so it's do you have any um, thoughts on how can you help find the truth of, am I just going and digging like a well three feet down, three feet down, mm. three feet down? Cool. And when is it relevant to actually move on mm. or stick with it through the shit to get to the other side? Um, honestly, okay, so this is, I can answer this, but I can answer this only from my own quote unquote level of being. And for me, that's not relevant, meaning that, um, it's not relevant to dig through stuff. It's not relevant to... So it's a little subtle how to say this. It doesn't mean there's no dialogue, there's no intensity, there's no depth. But <clears throat> the idea of, okay, am I just not facing my fears? That just is not real for me. From my point of view, it's not relevant for me. That, that whole analogy is not relevant for me, like digging three feet deep or not. It's it's that moment, and that moment is that moment, and whatever is learned is learned, whatever is gained and contributed is, is, is done, is contributed and learned. <clears throat> but it's not, it's not about me facing my stuff anymore. For me, that, personally, that has changed. Yeah, so this might not be as relevant, but let's see if I can answer from a different thing. Because there's no fear, right? Like, if there's no fear, there's, yeah, I'll see whatever needs to be seen. So that's not a mechanism. Ultimately, that's not a mechanism for moving apart from anything. It's just because something either resonates or does not resonate. And ideally, this is the case for you all, too, where it's purely based on this no longer resonates, when it no longer resonates. But yes, fine tune. Yeah, and so <clears throat> it's if I'm seeing that I'm trying to move away from mm -hmm. pain or discomfort, that's perhaps a warning bell for me, as opposed okay. to am I moving toward some deeper excitement? If okay. there's some positive excitement, or am I avoiding... And I want to say this plays into what I could say some average person hearing you. It's like, well, this is just a recipe for, you know, wishful thinking and irresponsible behavior by just like hanging out for a little bit and then hanging out for a little bit. But I think a lot of people misunderstand the law of attraction stuff right. by when people do it by, oh, I'm not going to go for that job interview because it feels bad or like they're avoiding discomfort mm -hmm. instead of moving toward true resonance. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Yes. No, it does. It does. Well, it's kind of like I assume, I assume that you all, if something comes up, that you face that, right? It's kind of logical. If you don't, then you probably wouldn't be here to an extent. So it's almost like that ideally, that would already be a mood point. I'm not saying that it should, but I'm saying that you've already reached a level of consciousness where if negative beliefs come up, you are inclined to face that and ask yourself, why do I feel bad? I feel bad not because of something they did. I feel bad because I have a belief that's not true. That's why I feel bad. Remember the mechanism I told you about? The universal emotional system that works that way to guide you into clarity. When someone that you start to open up to, it's such a different paradigm. It's not complicated. You see, the relationship makes it seem complicated, but it's always an inside job. It's always you and you, really. So just keep it really simple when it comes to facing your fears and insecurities and all that, just realize that there is no relationship, not really, just for a moment. I'm not saying there's no relating, but a relationship does not exist. It's just an agreement. It's just a thought form. There's a being over there that's a reflection of you in some way. It's reflecting you. That's all there is to it. So what is reflected is shown to you by means of feeling. If you feel bad, if you feel afraid, if you feel scared, there's something there for you to look at regardless of whether that's triggered by another person or by a plane crash on television or by a terrorist attack or by the money dwindling in your bank account. It's all the same thing. Like, just keep it really simple. There's no difference there just because it involves another person. It is all about you. When you, as soon as you feel bad, yes, don't immediately walk away. As soon as you feel bad, notice that you're feeling bad because you have a belief that's out of alignment then shift your belief, then shift your thought form, shift your, shift your reference. What are you referencing? So a bad feeling comes up in relationship to someone else. 
That says everything about you. That says everything about what you believe about that circumstance. Investigate it. Be as lovingly present to yourself as you can. Be excited about having uncovered a negative feeling. So you can actually feel really positive and good about having discovered a negative feeling. Does that make sense? Many people go, oh, a negative feeling, oh, that means lack. No, a negative feeling means an abundance of clarity and alignment reaching a new plateau, a new level. So be really excited about that feelings coming up because they show you the things that are not you, that you hold on to, that you believe in, so that you can let go of them, transform them by actually changing your energy, by actually remembering that you are a creature of infinite worth and infinite abundance and that all beings are free to be who they are and you are free to be who you are. This is... It's, this is it. That's just a simple process of facing those fears, facing those insecurities. In a sense, that should become a moot point when it comes to relationship. That shouldn't even be conflicting with whether or not something resonates. It's, ideally, that's no longer, it's no longer confusing. Oh, wait a second. Do I just want to move away from this? Or am I not facing something? At some point, that becomes crystal clear. Especially the more and more you have done this exercise of, hey, something comes up. It doesn't feel good, which means that my belief about this circumstance is not true. Let me look at it. Let me lovingly and excitedly transform it into knowing I am infinite worth. Everyone is infinite worth, and there's nothing that can ever be lacking for me. I can create whatever I want to create, choose whatever I want to choose. They can choose whatever they want to choose, and I will love them forever. They will love me forever, and we can never disconnect on a soul level because there is no time on a soul level. So you just become really honest with yourself, period all the time, no matter what happens, whether you're in a relationship or not. So even, so what I'm getting at basically is, the summary of that is, that your question for me has nothing to do with relationships. So to simplify it for yourself, whether you're avoiding stuff or not, don't apply that to relationship because it becomes really, really complicated. Apply it to yourself in general. Am I avoiding looking at my beliefs and my feelings? If you're not, then you're absolutely clear that that's not what you're doing. You're no longer afraid of uncovering negative feelings because you know that it's, that is a positive event leading only into greater alignment. That should be an attitude in life, period, whether you're all by yourself for the next 30 years or whether you're in all kinds of relationships simultaneously. It has nothing to do with relationship. This should be your attitude, period. I say should. There's no shoulds. This is simply my recommendation because it will lead you into that greater empowerment. And the more you do that, even when you're not with a partner, the more clearly you'll be able to sense what is actual meeting ground and what's not actual meeting ground. And when that meeting ground, that purpose, when the purpose behind the relationship has resolved itself, then why would you want to hold on to that? It's just an empty shell. 